Hey guys, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Now we're gonna divert the Marmota, because the Marmota's coming, and we gotta stop it. Except we can't stop it, so we're just gonna take it somewhere else. That way it might forget about Rangri's. It's like, ooh, look at all that stuff over there, let's just go explore that. And then maybe if they just does that for... never mind. We're about to commence Operation Maiden's Shield, together with the Rangri's Royal Guard. See, now if I was Maximilian, that would be a... That would be a tactic that could be used. It's like, well, if we just distract him for a few hours, he might forget about his original purpose. I would probably forget, and it's like, oh, okay, I forgot why I was here, or I forgot why I was here, so I'm just gonna leave. Anyway. <sighs> oh, whew, I thought the game froze. <laughs> Squad 7 will begin the operation from this position. The Marmota will approach from the north end of the... Wait, it is? Oh, I thought it was... Oh, okay, I thought this mission happened in reverse. We start from the south and it goes north, but okay. The Marmota will approach from the north end of the area, advancing southward at every turn. You'll head along this route, trying to direct its path. Your mission is to lead it to this location, where the Rangri's Royal Guard and a mine field, a field full of mines await it. I repeat, your ob objective is to lure the Marmota to the specified destination. Anyone or anything caught in the path of its advance will be out Instantly, you'll have no chance to call for a medic. Plan your tactics carefully. I know you can do this uh, without any casualties, Lieutenant. So yeah, Marmota's course has not changed and Welkin dies. So, position units. First off, you're going to need... I'm going to get Nadine, because it's been forever. Uh, Catherine, sure. Alicia there. I'm going to get... Eh, now, I, I prefer Ramona. Um, I'm gonna go with one scout, actually. Gonna get Largo. Eh. I'm gonna get Vice. Okay. So there we go. Wait, did I get Largo? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Deploy! Letting the enemy past here means allowing them into the capital. That must be avoided at any cost. Good luck. Thank you. This mission is actually relatively easy. I've never failed it before. I've never lost anybody in it. So yeah. That whole thing, oh, if you get rolled over, you're dead instantly, never happened to me before. So I wouldn't worry about it too, too much. <sighs> Alright. We have to divert that monster away from the capital. Squad 7, move out! Jeez, we are very close. That's like 30 feet away. My god. Ugh. So that's it, huh? They weren't kidding with that battleship stuff. Remember, our mission's just to lead it along. Avoid combat where you can. And don't forget to keep your distance. Get run over by that thing and it's all over. Yeah, you wouldn't be a body anymore. You'd just be a paste on the ground. Okay, so there's a trooper there. Alright, so. You have a specific thing you need to do in this mission, and I'll explain once we get there. My turn, okay? And you can actually hear the... that that thing makes as it's just sitting there. Aha, that's it, right there. So you're gonna want to shoot these. Ragna crate. Uh, I want to do that from a little further. Can't allow them to reach yeah, I know. Don't even think of dodging. <laughs> Don't dodge me, boxes. Okay, so do that. All right, so you're gonna want to shoot those explosives. They're not gonna blow up immediately. But you'll start off a timer. You're going to want to set those timers on, uh... Well, you know, you're going to want to... You want to start the timers. Rock slide imminent. Please clear the area. Okay, is anybody in that? No, no one's in it. Okay. Now, uh, there's explosives here. Over here. You can see them. They're kind of like little white circles. You can see it now. Uh, I can't scroll all the way over there, but uh, they look like that. 
So there's explosives. Hang on. Here. 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 And I believe... Oh. Right here. And... Here. So yeah. Use those explosives to cause uh, rock slides. And that will slow down the Marmota. It's kind of like... Uh, what you did back in Barius. No matter the cost. Okay. I'm gonna run right through the rock slide area. So I can hit this other thing of explosives over here. Don't Shut up. You're stupid. <laughs> this isn't top lane, we're good. There we go. Okay, so do that. And then Gonna need, probably gonna put Catherine to shoot in that thing. Alright, so that's that. Oh crap, am I in that? Okay, no, I'm not. Good. Alright, Catherine. So yeah, having Catherine here will help you just because you can take them down at a serious distance. That way you don't have to send a unit all the way over there. Okay, let me see. Can I see it from here? Uh, barely. Let's see. Oh. Oh well. That's fine. Because uh once you start the rock slide in the beginning of the level, it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Okay. So now let's get Rosie on over here. Just be sure you have the map open and you know where the rock slides are coming because uh you get hit by that, you're dead. Let's see. Ah, oh, almost. <laughs> oh well. Now, let me see here. Yeah. I'm gonna need to move. I can't take that second shot with, uh... Hero's in trouble now! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I can't take that second shot. Oh, what the hell? The thing shot at me! Wow, I didn't know that. Let's do it. Shoot it. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> Sorry, Nadine. I didn't shoot you, though, so it's okay. Okay. Come on, go up. There. Freaking finally. Now, don't shoot me. Dick. But yeah, that thing is so big. Like, oh my god. That's so cool. That's so awesome. Like, oh my god. The Marmota is, like, the coolest thing in this game, aside from the Valkyria themselves. Ah, oh, that was going to be a headshot. That almost hit him, too. Man, that would have been amazing if it hit him. All right, got to get the tanks moving now. Way ahead of you. Let's go. Oh, sorry, Rosie. That tree fell on your head. Ah, and I also ran you over. Sorry. Uh. Damn, I can't hit that thing. <laughs> I should probably stop shooting at that because I'm <laughs> I'm probably scaring the hell out of Nadine. It's like, oh my god, what are you doing? Stop that. Ow, ow, ow. Stop shooting at me. God, dick. We're not. Stop telling me that. Oh, whoa. Weird. Oh, wait. Fire! Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, well. All right, there we go. Ooh. Thank God I was out of the rock slide. And that one. Whew, that was close. Oh, there's another... Oh, crap. Oh, thank God. Whew. At least he didn't kill me. 
Nice. Good shots, Alicia. Okay, and here comes a shock trooper. That's not good. Yeah, <laughs> go back. Like, oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna run. <laughs> okay, so is the Marmota gonna move? Oh, oh I'm gonna go away. <laughs> like, oh, damn it, she saw me. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Gonna do it again? Like, okay, I'm gonna sneak up on her. She won't see it coming. Oh, she's not coming. <laughs> I think he ran out of AP. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Oh. Ah, uh -huh. sucker. Now I'm gonna kill you. Yay! That was some stupid ass AI. My god. Alright, so, player phase. Let's see where it is now. Lieutenant, explosives have been installed next to the gully walls. Detonate them with a gunshot. They'll cause a rock slide that may slow the enemy down. But won't the person setting them off also get caught in the rock slide? They're shock-sensitive time bombs. Once you arm them with a shot, there's still time. Shoot them then pull out before they go off. Their range is wide, though, so be careful. What the hell? What mortar? What the hell? Come on! So yeah, the Marmota does not move very much, even once it moves. Like, we started, like, here, and it just barely moved forward. The only ones who would be dead now is people who didn't move. So, yeah, just be sure you move every unit, and then you're pretty much safe. Alright. So now, I'm going to move everybody else before I move Catherine, because I'm afraid that if I try to move Catherine, I won't have any room. Okay, there's that. Alright, so, um... Damn. Leave it to me. It's very, very important that you get an engineer, and you'll see why in a second. Because, of course, if you looked ahead and you see the minimap, you pretty much already know why, but... I, I keep calling it the minimap, but... You know, when, if you've seen the map, you know why. But it's just bring an engineer. Fire. You, will, you will pretty much kill yourself just to restart the mission so you can get an engineer. I'm dead serious. You can see them from here. <laughs> God, it's terrifying. Okay. So I see the explosives there. So now what I need to do is I need to get no matter the cost. Nadine. Now I can protect my team. Ooh, cool. Super defense. I didn't know she had that. Our ties go beyond the flesh. Take a good look at your surroundings. All right, here I'm going to go ahead and go over here. Way over here. So I can activate this and be safe. Ragnacrate. Those aren't time bombs. They're just Ragnacrates. Oh, crap. Zack is in that. Isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. Uh, I don't think I should take a chance. I'm going to move him again just to be safe. Entering combat. Stop. Jeez. I need to move you. I'm not. I think I'm gonna leave Alicia where she is. And here, let's see. Can I get this from here? Oh no, I can't. Oh, maybe. Good. Very good. Okay, so that is required. You have to get those two things of uh, explosives right there. If you don't, it's mission failure. So yeah, I'll leave Alicia where she is. Ouch. Don't do that. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave Wargo. Because he's defensive, you know what I mean? Today's the wrong day to mess with me. Today's the wrong day to mess with me. Every day is the wrong day to mess with Vice. Alright. So now I'm gonna... I, I really don't want to take a chance and get killed, you know what I mean? Leave it to me. So, here. Move way over here. That's what she said. Anyway. <laughs> Duh! Oh, God. Is she in the rock? No, she's not. Okay. All right. There. Yeah, she's nowhere near it. Good. I Zaka was probably safe, but I didn't want to take a chance. You know what I mean? Woo! It's fun to cross rock slides, especially when it's safe. Enemy face. And no enemies. Come on. There. Woo! Oh, you chopped down that tree. Oh, you chopped down that tree. <laughs> Whatever. Don't kill me. Okay, play your phase. They've stopped in front of the rock slide. Great, it worked. That should buy us some time. Oh, thank God, Largo's still back there. I'm probably not even gonna move the. Sh oh no, I probably I need to still move the shamrock. Damn it. Okay, first off, Largo. Just watch this. Need to get him caught up. Ow! But yeah, I'm glad I I'm glad it was him I left behind because I wouldn't want a really weak unit to get just obliterated. Okay. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have done that rock slide, but I guess I just wasn't thinking. All right, Catherine. Now having Catherine here, it might seem really stupid and pointless, but there are some units you fight a little bit later, so having this. Having a sniper with you is very helpful because they appear at a long range. So yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move the shamrock. Way ahead of you. Because giant ass minefield. Bitches. Okay. Woo! Good. Now break both of those. There we go. You just want to clear that uh, path for the Edelweiss. That's all. That's the only reason why I did that. Have I moved the Edelweiss? No, I have not. Okay. No matter the cost. So now I can go in with Nadine over here. And yeah, I know. It's kind of stupid to take her this way, but this way I can clear out all these mines. Okay. Good. Be sure you don't accidentally repair that thing. Although even if you do, it's not that big of a deal because you know you can just destroy it again, but still. They're who? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Liam O'Brien is very hostile. Okay. There. Now I'm away from the friggin' tank traps, and I can just focus on disarming. Alright, come on. I know, we're working on it, jeez. Gotta, gotta friggin' disarm landmines and stuff. There. So yeah, as long as you just clear the middle of the road, you know, you just clear a very obvious path, um, you'll be fine. But yeah, if you want to be extra safe, clear out the west of the mines, or you could go over in the grass. Like, if you don't have an engineer, or you know, whatever. If something happened to your engineer, or it's just not here yet, uh, run along the grass. There's not as many mines there, and you can actively avoid them. Instead of just taking a tank and rolling over all of them. 
Which is a fine strategy. It's just, you know, that way you don't have to do that. And I would say take out the anti-tank mines just because, you know, you don't want to lose... Uh, you do not want to lose any mobility in this mission because, well, I don't think I really have to explain. But okay, that's that for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. And next time, we're going to continue uh, running away from this giant friggin' battleship. So see you then.